Saturday, June 25th. I noticed yesterday I was getting ready to mow the yard and I came out and there's water in the yard and it hasn't rained for days. And then um, you can see water bubbling up. So we're going to be digging up the main water line, getting that repaired. I've got shovel and plastic over here. We're going to get digging. Okay, about 15 minutes later, I thought it was coming from right here, so I dug there, but then it looked like it was coming from up this way. But then I saw clear water coming in from this side, so I'm going this way. Hit a bunch of big rocks. I thought I knew where the water line was, but I don't. All right, after another 10 minutes of digging, and scooping out water trying to figure out where it's coming from. I thought I'll dig up the water meter and turn her off. And you can see that wheel spinning like mad. And then the wheel stopped. So, that'll make it easier digging and seeing we can turn it back on as needed to see our, our leak. Hour and 30 minutes later, after hitting numerous rocks and tons of roots that I had to chop through with the shovel, I found the pipe. <laughs> Unfortunately, in the process I was thinking I hit a root because there was a root right above it and probably what caused the leak. But I have cut through the pipe. So, I found the pipe. Don't know if I found the leak or not. Have to repair this, dig around it, dig a little bit one way and a little bit the other way. See what I can do. Anyway, at least I know where I am now. Okay, two hours since I started. As I said before, found the pipe but cut through it with my shovel because I was used to hitting roots like this. I was having to cut through and I wasn't sure the exact depth of the pipe, but now that I know where it is, I can dig carefully around it. I'm pretty sure that the, the hole is somewhere where I did actually hit it because this side's dry. I might dig a little bit further that way though. But the plan is now I'm going to go get on about six feet of this pipe. And a couple clamp things. See if I can't fix it. All right, took my chunk of pipe to the hardware store and they said it was PEX. I've actually got a PEX crimper at home, but they recommended the shark bite stuff. So it got me two shark bite fittings and some section of three quarter PEX pipe. So the plan now is to dig a little bit one way and a little bit more the other way. Get my section of pipe that I'm going to replace. Pop these pecs on there. Turn all the water on. Check for leaks and then leave it for a few days before I fill it back in. So anyway, I got some more digging to do. We'll get to it. Get her done. See, it's stuff like that. I was running through and that's one of the reasons I chopped through the pipe with the shovel because I thought it was a root. So it says to mark these at one inch because that's the insert depth. And the way these shark bite things work, you're supposed to have a nice clean pipe. You insert one of these ends into it. And then you mash 
all the way in. So we need an inch on the one end of the pipe and this, and then the length of this pipe and the same thing on this end. So I think I've got just about enough cut. I might dig a bit more, but we'll cut our pipes down in the hole and try the shark bite thing and see, see how it goes. I've got a fresh charge battery and a fine tooth blade on this. So I'm gonna try to make as square of a cut as I can on the end of this. Y'all probably won't be able to see because of my hair. Take my word for it, I'm cutting the pipe. Cut the one on the other end. All right, I'll measure the distance between that one and that one and figure out what I need to cut that pipe. But then I'm going to clean up the ends of these with some sandpaper and the cut end I do of that one with some sandpaper and we'll get her installed. Okay, hopefully I've measured everything right. I've got my shark bites on each end. Shove that one on there. And then I can almost forget a little end piece goes in here. Shove that one on there. Come on, there we go. Oh, I measured good. I measured just a little bit long, so I got a bit of a bow, but that'll be fine. It'll lay down, won't be straight, but it'll be good. We're gonna turn on the water, see what happens. All right, let's go look at that. That looks like everything's good, and I was looking at the meter too, and the meter, meter would show if it was leaking and all. I'll show you that. All right, this is the water meter and they they used to actually come around and read these numbers gallons liters depending on where you are but they put in electric meters so they don't even do that anymore so i had to dig around to find this i knew where it was so the grass was kind of covering it up and i dug that up anyway this was open it had mud all over it and it had some water in it but when i first got here this little wheel was spinning and this gauge was turning and of course numbers were going up and what i had to do was get a wrench here on this flat part and just turn it clockwise and this is where they would shut off your water and put a padlock through there if they were shutting you down because you hadn't paid your bill but when i came and turned this back on this um this little thing here in the middle spun and the needle went up and then it was kind of funny it kind of went backwards a little bit and I'm guessing what happened was is it filled up pressure in the line and there might have been some air pressure and it kind of pushed it backwards a little bit so what I'm going to do so you'll be able to see is I'll set up the camera and go crack open a, a valve up there and you'll be able to see this stuff turning let me get the All right, you probably saw this part here spin and this needle move and I don't know if numbers moved or not I'll be able to see in the video later but um normally if your house doesn't have a leak as long as you're not you know somebody taking a shower or you know use some water this should be sitting still so if you've got a leak somewhere 
and it's not in your house and you're not sure you know you see a wet spot in your yard or whatever if you look at this and it's spinning it means water's going somewhere so that looks like i've fixed it i'm going to leave the hole open just to let it dry out in the next few days just to double check and make sure it is proper getting fixed but it, the plumber I called said $300 if he dug it himself and if I dug it $150 I spent $15 on supplies to fix it and it took me two hours to dig down to it and then another I don't know hour or so to, to dig around it to get to where I wanted to cut it so all in all probably four hours of work saved me 250 bucks anyway if you've made it this far in the video Thank you. Please like and subscribe. And if you've got a leak, good luck. It's tough work, but something you can do.